Ah, oh, crap, he's figuring it out. A gearhead is born. Ah! So, packing up and getting ready to leave, and I was just about to start on or loading everything from my apartment into the U-Haul. Um, on the way here, I heard a loud noise. I thought I dropped a part of the cage or something that's sitting inside. It wasn't the cage. I think I'm gonna ratchet the toolboxes individually from now on. I don't care about the Stanley box since that's just the Stanley cheap old box. I literally just keep it to hold storage, but I gotta do something about this. Yeah. Well. That's that. GTR 34. Whatever, I'll eat fries. Oh, Jesus Christ, I gotta go. Hold on, you wait here. Oh. Oh, 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 I've seen all kinds of cool cars, but this, this takes a cake. This is too cool. Oh -ho. I think it's fing nice. Freaking gorgeous too. Right. One thing though, I do have to put my dog in the backyard. Oh, you got a dog? Mm. I got several. You got more than one dog? I got five. <laughs> Hey guys, aren't you little? Oh, no, 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 Hey guys! Hey! 
How are you? Pop the hood on this thing, let's see what he got. I just love the way the hood comes up on these cars, dude. Just a stock M20 motor with some uh, goodies and uh, bolt-ons and internals that are updated. This thing That's screams, cool. dude. Last time I drove it, this thing screamed. Yeah, she's a screamer. <laughs> God damn. Take a look at them headers. Dude. Yeah, no wonder it screams. Long tube headers. I love the mason bar too with the color match. Mm -hmm. Do they sell them like that or did you have it painted? No, it was sold that way. Shit. I bought it that way, yeah. He tries to he tries to match the paints between uh, cars. Right. You know, he actually gets their paint schemes and he tries to match it to the best of his ability when he shoots them. Looks good to me, hell. Matches the struts out really well. Yeah, see how see how I was telling you about how he lines up everything. He even makes it to where you, the fuse box is in sync too, so it doesn't have, butt in its way. Dude, that's pretty clean. I can take a look underneath the car and see how low my pan is to the floor. That's, that seems to be a point of pride for a lot of E30 drivers. My buddy Renee smoked a bunch of his old pans that way. All right, let's see if I two and a half inches from the floor. You can see. Holy sh! Dude, aren't you scared? You see that uh, plate underneath there? Yeah. It's a it's a welded on plate. It's a scrape plate, and I've already kissed it a couple of times, as you can see. So that's essentially there is a protector or is yeah. an indicator of hey you're scraping. Uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> so that something like this doesn't happen. Oh, oh I got the old, old dude, that's savage. Luckily, I was a block, away, a block and a half away from the shop. I just drove right into the shop. Over here? Yeah. No and way. I left the park here. I, I came in on a weekend, and I just put it on the rack, and I got it done within a couple hours. <laughs> Dude, that's just bad. Mason, nice. Yeah. I know him personally. No shit. Yeah. He's uh, built two custom bars for my convertible E30s back in the day. Holy hell. Because if you don't know, in the convertibles, the battery's in the front. Right. As opposed to in the rear. Right. So they have to compensate for the size due to, you know, the battery being in the way. So they have to reposition it a little bit. Oh, I'm going to show them to you in a second, but I got the eyeballs. Oh, no, but I'm saying I think I found potential spots. No, well, you only need them for the uh, fifth and sixth point. And normally... Fifth and sixth is locked, right? Yes. The three and four go in the standard locations. You actually use the standard seatbelt holes for three and four. Four. So three goes. Or, yes, three is gonna go here, yeah, right here. Four, if depends on if it mounted to the chassis. It, uh, four would be uh, the buckle, right? Yeah. Did it mount four to the chassis be, or the rail? No, it was on the. Uh, the actual rail on rail? The seat. Okay, that one we'll have to cut. It's for sure not too short.
There, there, there comes the fun part. To the abyss. And beyond. Oh, dude, watch your face. What? Oh. <laughs> I think that the simple jobs are usually the most pain in the ass ones. Ugh. I don't know, you tell me. Look at, look at my struggle right now. Struggle. You're grunting when you're getting up, dude, you're getting old. What's that? You're grunting when you're getting up, you're getting old. I am almost 30, leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, oh, really? I oh yeah. yeah. This year, I'll be 30. That's a scary thought. See, the thing is, like, we say that now, 10 years down the road, and it seems far, and then you look back 10 years ago, and it was so not long ago. Yeah, but, like, it feels like yesterday. Kind of does, does it? What was I doing in 2008? <sighs> 2008, I had just moved to the U.S. I was working. Dude, you were 19 in 2008. Mm -hmm. I was 12. Think about that for a while. I was still an old man in your eyes. <laughs> I didn't realize Porsche made the 924 as a turbo as well. Yeah. Huh. That's pretty cool. I, I feel like how I was like, oh yeah, I'll come help you. And I'm just standing here with the camera doing absolutely nothing. It's okay. Do you want to get started on the other side at least? You can drill the holes. The center punch them and drill them. No, it's too much work. I'll let you do it. <laughs> You too, dude. I didn't bring my tripod, otherwise I would have done it. Oh, did I bring my tripod? No, I didn't. Oh, well, technically I have a mini tripod. Sit in the no, I get that. Oh, hum up. This is nice. Snap on. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. Balling. I figure go home. All right, so look, this is where I'm putting it. Look at me. Well, yeah, but you're missing sound deadening, so I can't use that as a reference. What? I mean, it's uh, technically the same spot. You want me to? You want me to mock them so that way you get to drill? No, 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 I can't mock them. That's not the issue. Just, just come out from the other side. Just confirm it for me. Right here. Your head. Right there. Let me see. You're in the light. I need my flashlight. I need a flashlight. I got flashlight. Not that kind of flashlight, buddy. <laughs> right there? Yeah. There. Into into the seam yeah. sealer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, your fingers. They just used extra. Don't move the light. Keep it there. Side. Get it on. Oh, I moved it. Oh, no, it's fine. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, that's Juan. Juan on Juan. Fixed back seats. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put this one. Uh, down, right there, right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's good. Give me the drill. No, I need a smaller bit first. It is the smaller one. Is it? Yeah. Grab the other one right here. Oh, All right, well, cool. you have a magnet? Yeah, So I can pull this metal out. That's not you don't need metal because then it'll form wood. Guess how I know? I'm going to vacuum the car out today. Oh, today? Alright, shit. I gotta clean it out. Uh, give, me, give me a magnet. Give me a magnet. Oh, you tighten them by hand? Oh. I mean, yeah, I, let me...
So, a little bit of fun trivia here for you. The stuff for seat belts and all safety related cars on all cars is American size. Threads are American size. The bolt heads are American size. Yep. And that's because the American regulations are, I guess, the stiffest one, the, hard, the hardest ones to reach or something. The only, the only regulations that are more uh, stringent. Yeah, is uh, Japan. But even they use American hard. Like, like my Evo when I was pulling that up, even the Miata. It was all American size shit.